Fat Toy Lady, and today is going to be a toy that I get lots of requests for, and I'm finally going to do it. Every cat loves ping pong balls, and what's better than a regular ping pong ball? One that rattles with a tail. In previous videos, I've made toys with this yarn. It's called Chunky or Chunky Chenille, but it's going to be your best friend. The inside of it is sewn together. It's not going to just fall apart and shred like some other toys that you might be able to buy that have tails. This is going to hold up. The Chunky yarn and a ping pong ball are your main ingredients today. You just need a few other little things like some tools, scissors, a small little screwdriver, and about 15 pieces of rice. It doesn't take much to make a good loud rattle. We're going to start with prepping the yarn. You just pick the color that you like the most today. I'm going to go with the dark teal. It's my favorite. You only need about eight inches of it. So you can eyeball it or you can measure it. It's up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and make a little snip. Now that you have your eight inch piece, just set it down. Take your ping pong ball and the screwdriver. It's just one of the very fine tip screwdrivers, nothing much and you're gonna use it to poke a hole in your ping pong ball. If you look really carefully, there's a seam that goes around your ping pong ball. Try not to poke in that, it makes it a little harder. So I'm gonna go for the middle, a quick little pop, and pull it out. Now, I'm gonna take some fine tip scissors. You can find anything that just has a fine tip that's a little sharp, and stick it in that hole. And you're just gonna twirl it back and forth to cut the hole to the size that you need. I'm aiming for just smaller than a pea. It doesn't have to be anything pretty, it's gonna be covered up. Now, stick some rice in it. I'm just gonna add about 15 pieces using my fingertips. Once you think you have enough in there, give it a good shake. If you can hear it nice and loud, that's what you want. You don't want it to be too heavy, but you want it to be nice and loud with the rattle. Now that I'm done with the rice, I'm gonna take a flathead screwdriver, just a small one. It doesn't have to be too big, you just want it to be able to fit in the hole. And I'm going to bend around the tip of it some of our little tail that we've made. Your goal is to go down about half an inch and where that seam is on the inside you can feel, put the knot on it and bend it over just so it stays on the end. Then take your tail and stick it in the hole. You're sticking it in just far enough to where that little hook that you've made of the end goes straight in. Now the key is the glue. You're going to use your glue and again, I use the cool glue guns. That way they're not too hot. You don't want something that can melt your ball. I'm gonna stick the glue gun just inside and squirt the glue down one side and the opposite side. That way it gets stuck to the fuzz of the tail, makes little knots on each side, and it will anchor it in. Move the fuzz out of the way and stick it in the hole. And you can remove any of your little strings. And then I'm just gonna flip it to the opposite side and put glue in there too. Just wiggling it back and forth so I make sure I get plenty on that fuzzy tail. And that's it. You can stick your fuzz down if you had any glue on it. Just make sure it sticks to the ball and let it cool. The key is when you let it cool, let it cool straight up and down. That way none of your rice gets stuck to the glue. All right, it really is that easy. The tail is nice and anchored in. It's not going to be coming out when your cat plays with it. The worst that's going to happen is that you're gonna end up stepping on the ball and squish it yourself. Uh, I've done it a ton of times, but now let's go see what they do. You saw it it's a hit. She wouldn't let any of the other cats play with it. She bats it around. She loves the rattle. It almost has that chipmunk sound to it. It's a big hit. It's so easy to make. Really inexpensive. It probably only costs less than 10 cents to make. You can make tons of these and keep your cat really happy. Now go make your cat some toys.